Hello Paper Crafters! I'm Sunny Sky and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today we're using the Rose Wonder Set and the Coordinating Thinlets dies to create this card that has a little bit of dimension and uses a bunch of the new in colors. So I've used for the background the new envelope paper that comes in the current in colors. So here is the Peekaboo Peach, Flirty Flamingo, and then we'll also be using Pear Pizzazz today. The full card that I've just done in the thick Whisper White cardstock, and I've simply cut the envelope paper. You can get six card fronts out of one sheet of 12 by 12 if you just cut into four inch strips and then cut into five and a quarter inch layers. And so this is the top of my, the front of my card. This little um, frame comes from this same set and I'm actually just going to use a small portion of it today. So if you cut one, you've got enough to make two. We just want a little embellishment in the corner of our card. And I did want to show you this little bow that we're using. The bow is not from the Rose Wonder set. It is from this mini treat bag die set. And there's the little bow right there. So, but it's the same thinness as the Rose Wonder set. So it's nice and delicate to sort of match with that. So I've already cut this one out for you. And uh, we're going to, I've cut the whole thing out of Pear Pizzazz, and then we're gonna stamp and cut in Flirty Flamingo. So here's my Flirty Flamingo ink. I've got the stamp here. I'm only concerned about inking up the rose portion of it. because I've already got the leaves in green. This is the only section that I'm gonna put this on the die and line it up and uh, we're just gonna cut part of it in this pink. So there's that. Now we'll bring over the big shot. I am using the magnetic platform and the um, base plate, precision base plate. So if I just put my rose on there, and this is the large uh, rose die, not the smaller one. We're using the same one that we cut out with the leaves. And I'm just going to line it up there. And basically this line of ink is going to go kind of in the center. And if you're off a little bit, it won't really matter. It just adds a little bit of extra dimension onto your final project. And I am going to run it through twice just because this is a detailed die just to make sure that we're getting all of the cuts that we need. I just kind of keep a rubber band with the die brush. It's too thick to fit inside the stamp case, but this is a wood mount stamp case and that I put the little piece of foam that comes with the brush in there. So I'm just going to take this die and just run the brush over it to get all the pieces out. So there's a, most of my extra pieces have already come out there and then just and it loosens up the die itself so I can get it out of the out of the case there. Okay and I'm going to trim off just some little bits of the leaf. We, I'm just cutting off the extra leaves that I have there. Okay. Let me pull this paper back in so we can see a little bit better. Now, the tip that I have for you on attaching this, I've learned from someone on YouTube, and I don't remember who, uh, to use some of this lovely stuff, some press and seal, just to keep from getting all the glue on myself. All right, so I'm just gonna turn this up down, upside down. I have this section that has the uh, ink where, where I stamped it and I want that to be down. I don't want to glue on that side. So I'm just going to attach the, it's kind of sticking to me there. Press and seal. Okay, and then I'm using this fine tip glue pen. And I don't need glue everywhere, but I like to put it in all of the sort of intersections. That's where the cardstock is a little bit thicker. I don't want the glue to run out on me. This, uh, putting this uh, sticky, press and seal down, helps keep the glue from coming all over my work surface, and it also helps me from keeping it 
uh, getting it on my hands. So I'm just getting a little bit around the edges here. And then I've got my full green one and I'm going to line the green one up on top of it. And try and be really careful that I don't see any pink coming through then I'll know it's lined up real well. Press that down. And then we're going to adhere this with the fine tip glue pen again on the full card. You'll notice that I'm kind of starting in the center with doing the glue. Uh, some of this glue may dry a little bit as we go and on the edges is really where I want to make sure that it's adhered well. So if I kind of save my corners and edges towards the end, hopefully the glue is a little bit wetter to keep this attached to my card. I don't want to get too much glue because I don't want to uh, end up with a bunch on my card base. Alright, so this time I'm going to take the press and seal. Let me flatten out my card. I think that'll make it easier. And this rose just kind of goes in the corner. It will fit on the front of the card if you place it diagonally. So this press and seal is between me and the card. I'm just kind of making sure that the glue is attached really well. And I can feel, I don't know if you can see, but the, because the rose part is two layers of cardstock, it is a little bit thicker on there. And then you just peel that back, and there you go. We just need to add one more little embellishment, and that's this little tiny bow. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that glue right in the center. Did a little air bubble on me there. And put that there, and then we're just going to stamp Happy Birthday on the inside of this card. Now this stamp set does have a multitude of greetings. Sympathy, birthday, thank you, uh, one for a wedding. So you really could add anything inside this card. I've just chosen a birthday. Those tend to be the ones that I need more of than some of those other sentiments. So that is the card for today. Hope you enjoyed it. So feel free to share my video, subscribe to the channel, shop on my website, and thanks for joining me today.